Ice King, also known as Simon, is undoubtedly one of the most tragic characters in cartoon history, particularly in the world of Adventure Time. While we don't have much information about his parents or his childhood, his story begins to unfold as an antiquarian before the devastating Mushroom War, where magical items were his primary interest. Today, I'll delve into his entire backstory, which was further expanded upon in the Fiona and Cake series. Simon's tale begins with a presentation he delivers regarding his ongoing search for magical artifacts. During this presentation, he expresses his desire to obtain the Enchiridion, a legendary book. Unfortunately, his audience mocks him, leaving him disheartened. However, one person named Betty shows genuine interest and asks Simon to sign a book he wrote. She also suggests that a vase he found might contain writings that could lead to another magical item. Intrigued by this possibility, Simon invites Betty to join him on his expedition to find the Enchiridion, expressing his gratitude. Betty agrees. Simon and Betty bond and have fun together. Betty even teaches Simon a technique her mother taught her to scare away snakes. Eventually, they locate the Enchiridion and return to the city. However, as they arrive, they are surrounded by journalists and paparazzi. Simon asks Betty to share the fame with him, but she refuses, believing it to be his moment. Disappointed, Simon forces a smile for the cameras, lifting the Enchiridion. Following this incident, Simon and Betty do not speak for three weeks. During this time, Simon investigates the book Betty had checked out previously. To his surprise, he finds a note left by Betty expressing her admiration for his research and newfound admiration for him as a person. She confesses feeling a deep connection between them, but due to her travels, she cannot be by his side. In her final words, she declares her desire to always be with him, albeit impossible. Overwhelmed by the emotions conveyed in the note, Simon rushes to Betty's apartment, throwing a rock at her window. He discovers from her roommate that Betty has already left for the bus stop. Simon frantically heads to the bus stop, grappling with what to say and how to express his feelings for her. But when the bus arrives, he seizes Betty's hand and embraces her, exclaiming that he needs her. They both burst into laughter, reuniting their affectionate bond. As time passes, they become engaged and continue to explore the world together. However, their idyllic life takes a dark turn when Simon purchases a crown from northern Scandinavia. Initially, he wears it as a joke, but soon he begins to exhibit erratic behavior, frightening Betty. Overwhelmed by fear, she runs away, and Simon never sees her again. After returning to his normal self, Simon desperately searches for Betty, but cannot find her. Feeling utterly alone, he records a tape recounting his story. Years later, the mushroom bomb falls, triggering a nuclear apocalypse that decimates humanity. Simon, now slowly transforming into the Ice King, manages to survive the devastation. He records two tapes documenting his descent into madness before encountering a young girl named Marcy, who is crying and alone. In an act of kindness, he retrieves a pink teddy bear from an abandoned store and gives it to her. He realizes that his transformation into the Ice King poses a danger to Marcy. Two years later, he records one final tape, filled with sorrow over Betty leaving him, and tearfully separates from Marcy. He explains to her that he is a threat to her safety, and promises to find someone to take care of her. With a heavy heart, Simon leaves Marcy behind, and she is left saddened by his departure. Eventually, Simon approaches Hansen Abadir, Marcy's biological father, and entrusts him with her care. From that point forward, Simon fully transforms into the Ice King, the notorious princess kidnapper who often interacts with Finn and Jake. As time progresses in Adventure Time, the relationship between Ice King and Finn and Jake evolves from a villain, hero dynamic, to a genuine friendship. The turning point occurs in the episode Holly Jolly Secrets, Part 2, when Finn and Jake discover Ice King's tragic backstory. Learning about his past, they start feeling empathy and compassion towards him. In the episode Betty, a significant event takes place as Ice King accidentally regains his original form as Simon. He contacts Marceline and arranges a meeting, marking their first encounter in a thousand years. Simon presents Marcy with her beloved pink teddy bear, Humbo, and reveals his plan to use it in a makeshift time machine. In a heartfelt moment, Simon bids farewell to Betty, recounting the moment he began exhibiting erratic behavior. However, Betty unexpectedly jumps out of the portal and kisses him. Unfortunately, Simon's health deteriorates rapidly, and Betty attempts to save him by confronting the monster that consumed the ice crown magic called Bella Norsh. Through her courageous act, Simon transforms back into the Ice King, and Betty, saddened and disappointed, flees but remains determined to restore Simon. In the episode You Forgot Your Floaties, Betty absorbs all of Magic Man's powers, including his insanity. Subsequently, in the episode King Ram, Ice King discovers that his loyal companion, Gunther, has gone missing. In an unexpected twist, it is revealed that Betty is the one who stole Gunther. However, she disappears without uttering a word, leaving Ice King confused and concerned. In the episode Elements, Ice King, Finn, and Jake encounter Patient Saint Pym, who has been encased in an ice ball for a millennium. 
Patience reveals herself as the Ice Elemental and freezes Finn and Jake. She tasks Ice King with kidnapping the other three Elementals, Princess Bubblegum, Slime Princess, and Flame Princess. Ice King reluctantly abducts the princesses, and Patience unveils their true Elemental powers. However, Finn and Jake manage to break free from the ice and rescue the princesses. Slime Princess encases Patient Saint Pym in slime, and they all depart with Patience vowing revenge. Subsequently, in the next episode, Patience brings Betty to the Ice Kingdom. Betty attempts to jog Ice King's memories of his past by going on a date with him. Throughout the date, she desperately tries to remind him that he is Simon, but he remains unable to remember. Frustrated, Betty teleports him back to the Ice Kingdom, her effort seemingly in vain. In the episode Broke His Crown of Adventure Time, Princess Bubblegum and Marceline join Ice King for a dinner. However, Ice King starts behaving strangely, so Bubblegum and Marceline enter his crown and discover that Betty is causing the disturbance. They stop her and Ice King returns to normal. The plan of patience, Saint Pym gradually unfolds as she seeks to empower the Elementals, including Princess Bubblegum. When Finn, Jake, Bimo, and Susan Strong left Oo to find Finn's mother, patience seizes the opportunity to reveal the true powers of the Elementals. She brings Betty back into the picture and leaves intending to bring the Elementals to her secret location. Meanwhile, Ice King and Betty's relationship grow stronger as they enjoy playing and laughing together. However, Patience returns and freezes Betty, taking her to a hidden room. Ice King is left perplexed and wondering where Betty disappeared to, but his memory of her is erased when Patience distracts him with a donut. Patience, Pym enters the secret room, aiming to perform a ritual involving the Elementals and Betty. Meanwhile, Ice King, seeking another donut, enters the room and unknowingly disrupts Patience's plans. This results in a drastic change throughout Ooh, initiating the miniseries elements. Finn and Jake return and encounter Ice King, who informs them that Betty, whom he refers to as the Weird Lady, is still in the Ice Kingdom and could potentially help them. They embark on a mission to rescue her. Betty reveals to Finn and Jake that they must collect all the princess gems and place them in the Enchiridion to save Ooh. Finn and Jake set out on this task, losing Jake and Gunter along the way. However, when they finally gather all the gems, Betty betrays Finn and takes Ice King to the clouds to perform a spell and go back in time before Simon wore the crown. Yet, Ice King accidentally stops her, causing the Enchiridion to explode and teleporting Betty to Mars. Betty becomes Normal Mans, formerly known as Magic Man, wife for a period of time until the events of the series finale come along with me. Betty returns, summoning the ancient entity known as Golb. Ice King and Betty are both swallowed by Golb, and Finn joins them inside Golb's stomach. Within the stomach, they are transformed back into their original forms, with Betty returning to her normal self and Ice King reverting to Simon. Finn remains unchanged. Betty pushes Simon and Finn out of Golb's stomach and makes a wish, but it doesn't work, so she wishes for the power to keep Simon safe and she merges with Golb, becoming Golbetty. Twelve years later, in the Fiona and Cake spin-off, Simon is depicted as being depressed after Betty's departure. He embarks on an adventure with adult Finn, but remains in a state of depression. Simon attempts to bring back Golbetti, but fails. He is then teleported to Prismo's time room, where he is questioned about Fiona and Cake's arrival in his universe. Simon ignores the question, and Scara arrives, transforming Prismo into a block. Simon, Fiona, and Cake teleport to a new universe, with the goal of finding the Ice Crown in any dimension. Fiona and Cake return to their respective universes, and Simon tries to put on the crown once more. However, he is transported to Golbetti's presence, where she kills the leech. Simon has a brief conversation with Golbetti before attempting to put on the crown again. Golbetti transports his mind to Shermie, the reincarnation of Finn, and Beth, the reincarnation of Jake. In this new form, Simon and Beth play a game called Casper and Nova, which serves as an example of Simon and Betty's relationship. Simon realizes that Golbetti brought him there to understand her desire to move on. Golbetti then blows Simon back to Uu, transforming into a comet to reincarnate. Simon continues living his life, finding a sense of purpose and living happily ever after. This is how Simon's story ends, at least for now. If you enjoyed this story, summary, consider subscribing to the channel for more Adventure Time content. You can also follow on Twitter and join the Discord community to stay updated and engage in discussions. Thank you for watching and see you next time.